In the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, he states that humans are biologically prone to habits. And it's because the fact that we are mere bundles of habits that we're able to automatically perform many of our daily tasks. Think about things like, like the pat down before you leave the house, phone, wallet, keys, or starting the dishwasher before you go to bed, or brushing your teeth in the morning. Whatever they may be, these are all things that either have or at least can become habits that we perform on any given day without much thought process at all. In this video, I want to talk about willpower and the reason as to why willpower is so ineffective at sustaining change is because the more that we use it, the more worn out it becomes. You probably know this intuitively, but it took hundreds of chocolate chip cookies and a lot of disgruntled research subjects to prove it as fact. In this study, a group of researchers invited college students into their lab and instructed them not to eat anything for at least three hours prior to the experiment. Then he split them into three groups. Group one was given a plate of chocolate chip cookies, which they were told not to eat, as well as a healthy plate of radishes, and they could eat as many of those as they wanted. Group two was presented the exact same two plates of cookies and radishes, but they were told that they could eat off whatever plate they wanted. And then lastly, group three was given no food at all. And just to make this even more difficult, they discussed how they baked the cookies inside of this room in which the study took place, just so that there was this aroma of freshly baked cookies in the room. I mean, evil, right? Then after a period of time, the three groups were asked to solve a simple geometric puzzle. Notice the quotes around simple because we've discussed this before, but researchers are real sneaky. So in reality, this is an unsolvable puzzle. So what happened? Well, individuals in group two and three, remember those were the groups that either had no food or could eat whatever they wanted, the cookies or the radishes, they outlasted those in group one, the group that could only eat the radishes. Why? Well, they state that resisting temptation seems to have produced a psychic cost in the sense that afterwards participants were more inclined to give up easily in the face of frustration. The students who had to use every ounce of their willpower to avoid eating those enticing chocolate chip cookies didn't have the willpower or mental energy left to struggle through that complex puzzle. Even though avoiding cookies and persisting on a puzzle are seemingly completely unrelated. I want you to think about this and how it relates to us specifically when it comes to healthcare. I'm constantly discussing with patients things that they need to either do or change or implement into their lives. And honestly, I'm kind of lucky in this situation because most of the patients that I see have been struggling for a while. So usually they're willing to kind of try and do anything. But you know, every once in a while, I'll get a patient that doesn't. And it always makes me wonder, why are you even wasting your time and money coming to see me if you aren't going to do what I recommend? I'll give you an example. I'm working with a patient right now who she has a chronic fatigue syndrome and just an immense amount of brain fog. She's always exhausted. No matter how much sleep that she has, she never feels rested. She can't hold a job because you know getting up before noon is basically not possible. So anyway, we started working together and find out that implementing some dietary changes makes a huge difference in not only her energy levels, but also the example she gave me was that she walked out into the parking garage and she could actually remember where her car was. That never happened before. So my thought process is, all right, I think we're you know knocking on the right door, so let's keep heading down this path. Sounds reasonable, right? Well, I talked to her a few weeks later and she had a couple of stressful days and started to binge eat whatever she wanted. Completely got off the diet that got her to that good place initially and now wonders, what do I do? So what happened? She became overwhelmed at work or family stuff. I don't remember exactly what it was um, anymore, but she became overwhelmed and then reverted back to her old habits. Now, habits take a little time to put into place. And I didn't ask her this, but I bet she was still brushing her teeth at that time or taking a shower. Why? Because those are habits that she's created. She became overwhelmed, and the last thing that she wanted to do was come home and brainstorm what to cook for supper. Whereas, if she had been on this dietary plan for more than a few weeks at that time, it probably, wouldn't have, it probably would have been a little bit easier on her, and she wouldn't have experienced this flare.